Today is Sunday, September 17th. I was just informed of some very good news by Brenda. <laughs> Michigan won yesterday. Michigan won last night. Yeah. And so. next week, um, my family and my brother's family, we're all going to Ann Arbor. Yes. And tailgating and being together. And it will be quite fun. So go looking blue. Forward to it. Go blue. Go okay. Blue. It was I, a night game last night. Which oh, sorry. I hate. Oh, yeah, I know. you're kind of waiting around all I day, know. you know, and, yeah. oh, well, we like 12 noon or 3 p.m. Yeah, 12 is the best. 11 our time okay. so is the best. All so. right. Now that we all know what yes. is the preferred football start time, <laughs> we are back from Hobby House Needleworks Retreat. We'll talk about it. We had a great time. Yes. And saw lots of cool people, met new people, and it was top notch. Yes. yes. And our table our was called... The naughty table. Yeah, and I was not there a lot of the time, so I was not part of it, the naughty. So I just want that duly noted. I was. I, you were, yes. It was, our table consisted of, um, I'm going to go around. Go around. Okay. Yes. Me, mm -hmm. Pam, mm -hmm. Liz from Antique Needleworkers, Rachel from Needle and Flex. Head naughty. Yes. Head naughty. <laughs> and then Susan from Keepsakes. Um, keepsakes. She's a sweet lady. She was not. She wasn't naughty. No. But she was having fun. Yes. Yes. She was having a lot of fun. Yeah. Then Sharon. Yes. Our friend Sharon that we've known for years. Mm -hmm. And then Laura. Mm -hmm. And then Tara, mm -hmm. who was second in command of naughty. <laughs> and then You me. know what? You know what? There was booze on my pattern. And it was from Tara. <laughs> booze. Like B-O-O-Z-E. That has never happened before. <laughs> Booze on a crustage pattern? Oh, walk of mercy. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> it was funny. It was hilarious. Yes, it was yes. hilarious. They had an open bar mm -hmm. two in the night, so yes. it got a little rowdy up in the stitching room. <laughs> it was. Sweet. It was. Funny. I have. I haven't laughed like that in so long, and it was. Great. Yes, it, it was. was great. So it was, lots it fun. was fun to meet um, Liz and Susan, and we had met Tara, Tara before. Oh yeah, we yes. had. And Rachel but not like that. Before. No, <laughs> no. And it was so funny because when we got there and landed, she was coming out at the same time in the terminal, and then when we left, we were left within ten minutes of each other. Her, her yeah. going to the east, we're going to the west. So yes. it was great. Yes. It was great. And so I am wearing fun. my t-shirt that we got when we all went out to Dinosaur in Rochester, which I didn't want to go because, if you know me, once I get in the hotel at night, I do not want to go anywhere. But I sucked it up and got in the back of Liz's, what do you call that? Van. Minivan? Minivan. Yeah, me and Tara were in the way back. And uh, we went to this barbecue place, and Karen and Brendan came with us. And we had a really good time, and I bought a t-shirt from there. Yes. It was. It so was cool. so much fun. Yeah, we had so, so much, much fun. fun. And then not even to mention the whole hobby house. Oh, absolutely. And the whole hanging with Tanya and Vicki and yes. getting projects, which we'll show you. Yes. And we just had a very good time. It was a great time. The only downside was Kathy. Oh, yeah. Of hobby house was not there she had COVID. yeah Boom. so she was not there yeah um but luckily we're going back in november <laughs> yes, so, so we'll, we'll see, see her then yes yeah mm -hmm. so, it was great yes was really really great and yes. to meet all the people oh we met so many cool fun people and it was like i don't even i can't describe it in words how special it is but if you're a stitcher you know when you meet fellow stitchers you have so much to talk about and yes. it's so exciting yeah and we really just had fun meeting everybody there yeah. and for everyone who came up and introduced themselves or we met and just thank you for your nice comments yeah. and it was just a lot of fun whether you watch floss tube or not well you won't know this <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. just great. It, it was, was just really great. And a special shout out to Sue S. Who brought... And her husband, Steve. Yes. <laughs> who brought lots of show and tell. She's mm -hmm. um, a very re great needle worker. But she is very humble. Mm -hmm. And... But she brought her stuff and it was so beautiful. I think Laura's going to show some pictures in a minute. I so Because we don't... This will be our insert. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And here. Okay. Yes. 
we don't know how to edit. <laughs> no. We've never learned, and we're probably not going to. No. So. It's fine the way it is. So. Yes. Okay. Anyway, so the first thing we got at the retreat was this cool Hobby House Needleworks mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. And it's very lovely with its suede bottom. and mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. I have mine filled with the class stuff. So. Yeah. We talking about that now? Yeah. Let's okay. talk about our classes. Yeah. Because that's what we... Well, we go there for the classes, but it's really to see all the people. Yeah, both. Yes. For projects and stash and yes. people. That's because we don't have it. We've done, finished everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Friday night, they had dinner for us. All the food was so amazing. It was. It was very, very good. Yeah. They they had. Did they have breakfast, too? Yeah. <laughs> they had um, never hors d'oeuvres. Uh, yes, on Friday night. They passed them through the room. It's very Saturday classy. night, too. Oh, and God. where were you? I don't know. And it, then they had open bar Friday and Saturday night. And then they had a beautiful dinner. Saturday night, they had what they call carving stations. Oh, I know. That was really cool. So that was really nice. Really, really nice. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could have roast beef or turkey and potato bar and... Anyway, salad bar. We don't want to make you hungry. No. Okay, Friday night. They had uh, Tanya and Vicki. This is the Scarlet House and Needlework Press. And the name of the retreat that they put on was My Life's a Sampler. Mm -hmm. And so um, the first project was from Tanya, and it was this pin pillow, and it says, home is where my samplers are. I love this. Yeah, I do too. It's I fabulous. I love it. And it came with the fabric. Yes. Um, it also came, while Brenda's looking for the fabric, with mm -hmm. the 103s that were, are used for her main project and this little pin pillow. Here he is, hold on. It's on, um, oh, Dolly Madison. Oh, um, Dolly Rachel. Madison. Yeah. Oh, I love Dolly Madison. Oh, and then these hundred threes. Yeah. And it came with the backing fabric for it. Yeah. So very and cool. the trim around it, everything. I mean, everything is there except the sewing ability and the um stuffing. Uh-huh. We have people. Thank goodness for joy. Yes. I'm, I'm telling you. I know. Oh look, there's even and I know you have this little Pin yeah, to put in there. Yeah, yeah. It's all here. Yeah. Tanya thought of everything, and she made these pins. Oh, and she, she did. Yeah, she said never again. <laughs> so we're very lucky. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this in my pile of what I want to work on. Maybe start today. Okay, this might be it. This is in it. The pile might be the winner. I don't know. I have a little story to tell later after we get through oh, our class. Oh, you can tell it now. No. Okay. okay. All right, then well, well. Miss Vicky was up, and you know, if you know Vicky, you know she loves perforated paper. paper. And her first project was this on perforated paper. And they had put out threads in the middle of the table, and mm -hmm. you could just pick the threads and start. I started, and then I started here. But see, the size of the, the project finish is six by six, and mm -hmm. there was a reason for that, which we'll get to later. Yes. I started with two strands, and then I saw people with one strand, and I like that. I like that better. Then I also saw people who already cut their piece into a six by six, mm -hmm. and it would be much easier to work yes. on. So I got to figure out how to do that. Do you think I just just cut, cut it? regular paper. Measure six inches. And cut it. And cut it. Okay. But with, no, I, did, I said regular paper, regular scissors. Not yeah. Your, not my, um, yes. Not your good scissors. I got to do so. that. Because yeah. this is another one I would love to whip out. Um, Karen Combs, who was there, she has her own floss too. Guess what about Karen? What? What, what do you want to say about Karen? She finished hers. Besides that. She's very nice. Yes. Yeah, that goes without saying. <laughs> Not always. Um, she's short. Oh. You know when you meet people like Emily C. I had already met her, so oh. I knew that. I had met her at okay. Sanford Symposium. Well, like Emily C. of Eclectic Possessions is, is real, tall. Is tall, like mm -hmm. you. And then Karen. <laughs> Karen, I don't mean to keep harping on this, but it, it's just weird because you see her in her floss tube and you think, I'll show you later. 
She's short. She's she's, she's so a deer. sweet, and a you deer. need to watch her floss. They're too. so good. They are very good, informative, and mm -hmm. very very good. And mm -hmm. she has this completed. I showed the chart. That was bad. I think I did too. Okay. Well, don't steal the chart, people, yeah, or we're coming after you. Yeah. So, anyways, she finished hers. It's beautiful, and there mm -hmm. we'll show you why. Um, why it's beautiful? Yes. Why okay. Vicky gave us that? Okay. All right. Then, after all the frivolity of Friday night, we came into Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and Tanya was up first, right? Yes. And she did a an adaptation of an antique sampler and it was mind-blowing both the mm -hmm. sampler and the reproduction and here is her project for us oh good Brenda's got yeah, it better. Um, okay. it it this picture does not capture the beauty of it red manor sampler who doesn't love a red house there's dogs there's flowers it's gorgeous just gorgeous and it's stitched on a Needle and flax, what is that? Um, is it dirty remember. teacup? Um, I think, I don't think so. Oh, okay. yeah, dirty teacup. You're right, I was thinking, Dolly. Dirty teacup. Okay, dirty teacup. And Tanya always does little things in her kits that put it over the edge into greatness. Mm -hmm. And here is, yeah. Isn't that adorable? And here she is stitching on the sampler. Tanya told us how she did it and, you know, like Photoshop that in there. It's just, you know, you have to be creative like Tanya to do yeah. that. So, yes. Yes, indeed. So that was Tanya's project and it's Trey Amazing. Um, the Old Willow Stitchery was there and she gave us this free pattern for a little pin piece. Darling. Yes. Um, can't remember her name. Why can't I? Robin. Robin is her name. So. Good job. Yep. Okay, then Vic, after lunch, Vicki was up. Yep. And she gave a great um, yeah, history lesson on houses and samplers. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was very fun. Mm -hmm. um, she had a nice slideshow, and it was a lot of great information and fun. Yeah. So her um, sampler is Hannah Phillips 1826. The where's her jumping point of houses and samplers was this motif here, and she showed mm -hmm. it to us in other samplers. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting. This is the antique, and this is her reproduction. This over one verse she put into an alphabet over two. But I think if you want the over one verse, it is in here. It today. is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then she had everything in this cool bag. Yes. All and the hers is by, her fabric is Fox and Rabbit. Yeah. Is it baked clay, Eureka, hog bristle? Do, 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 do. We did not do our homework. No, we didn't. Because mm -mm, we never do. Well, it's We're Fox, too busy. Fox and Rabbit. Foffing about. Yeah, foffing and foffing. And here she gives, you know, all the the silks, the main silks, some hundred threes, some that we won't need as much of. And she put it all in this cute little bag. And this is definitely a fox and rabbit. I think it's up in the attic. Oh, I bet that's right. Either that or hog bristle. Yeah. And this is terrible that we did not... What? Write that down. Wow. Or... You know, some people might have been hung over. Not her, though. No. That would be... Not me, either. Number this one time. or two. Not me. I don't drink. Yeah, I don't really drink. But it's much. fun to be around It's people. fun to be around boozers, though. <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. kidding it was kidding. just a lot of fun. And they were not no. drunk. And we teach. We want to make that clear. Yes. Yes. They were just a lot of fun with it. They, they could have been... They were a lot of fun before they had any mm -hmm. so. I can hear my mother now. Don't I talk know. about boozing. It's not ladylike. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Okay, so then Sunday, one of the gifts 
that Tanya and Vicki gave was this very cool tray. And look at the, okay. Oh, you have yours very good I assembled. Know, because I could not snap these this morning. Um, mm -hmm. My husband had to do it. But anyways, so it's my life's assembler. Yeah. And it's like this. And this is, this when it's finished, fits right in this. Yes. And Karen, again, had hers done. Yeah. And, and she there's showed several people. Video who there were a lot of people yeah. that finished. If mm -hmm. I would have known that, I would have tried to get myself together. Vicki also gave us this really cool um, thread card with a sampler and then to put all our threads in there. So, and then cool. there was enough paper to do, They got we got this, well, we didn't get it. We got it Saturday because we'd leave early Sunday, but all these ornaments you could yes. do on the paper. And then she had backing felt mm -hmm. or I wool. I just love that. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It's just darling on this little tree. I think that's just Oh yeah, she awesome. had a little feather tree with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very cool. So we had fun. Let me show you some of the pictures. Yeah. Now that I have custody of my iPad. Okay, so on we got there Wednesday on and we took over a room at the hotel. Well it was fine to do that. Mm -hmm. And we're we're stitching in there and that's where we met a lot of people and that's mm -hmm. where we met Sue for the first time. And this is um she was she was inspiring. Yes. So she showed us a stitching case that she made and everybody went insane. Let me just show you the cover of it first. And that's go ahead. No, oh well I was just gonna say when we saw the whole thing, we were like, we must get that immediately. Well, she said, it's on Amazon. It's called a wooden messenger box. Mm -hmm. So it's like a reproduction of something that people would have run around with in olden days and written things on. Or, or people today that sketch mm -hmm. and it comes with a very long strap so yeah. that you can... Here's the strap. Yep. Yeah. She had um, modified it to have just a little handle on it. So this was $19.99 from Amazon. So yes. we all ordered that. And it's called a writer's easel. Um, it's not called a wooden no. messenger box. Let me look it up and I will while you continue yes. talking, I'll find it. Okay. So Sue started with the inspiration from this little picture and writing. It was the Hobby House kind of picture about the retreat. So she started with that. Then she said, hey, I think I have a picture of my grandma, great grandma, um, and she did. So she had this cabinet card, which she um, copied and then put on here with Mod Podge over it. So of course this sent us into orbit. Mm -hmm. She made some floss rings with her grandma's pictures. I, I mean, this is yes. just, of course, another thing that sent us over the edge. Yeah. She covered the inside with fabric. And here's a picture of all the things that she had in there. And it was truly a work of art. And so much um, heartfelt call back to mm -hmm. her family and she had mm -hmm. all kinds of little things in there. We just, yeah. so we kept calling people over to the table. You guys got to see this. And right. so Sue had to go through her presentation about 8,000 times. Yes. But it was worth it because yes. people were inspired. Yes. And here is where, this is what it's called. It's called a writer's messenger wood box. And there it is. So I'm going to hold this for a minute. Screenshot it. Go get it. Yeah, if you're so inclined to transform it, because it's really cool. It is. Okay, so I got some fabric at Hobby House Quilt Works, and this is fabric. I know I have some of this at home, but I just love it. It's by Betsy Chechen. I got enough mm -hmm. from Brenda and I to both use it if you want. Yeah, to cover the inside. And um, I'm gonna start putting in little things. Mm-hmm. And, oh, by the way, there's two things. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. There's two things that I hope I have in my stuff here. 
Mm -hmm. um, Sue gave me a package, which I guarded with my life, and I had it sitting next to me all week, and now it's somewhere. I'm hoping it's here. And it's a of NPI. If we find those two things in my bags, we're going to be very good today. Anyway, that's not the point. At Hobby House Woolworks, I got this little needle book. It's very yeah, special. Very, very so special. So that's going to go in there for sure. I didn't get that at Hobby House Woolworks. Yeah, I got a there lot was only of stuff. one. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff there. I'm not pulling, I did not pull it all out, but I am showing what I, this mm. needle book. Love. These were yeah. made already, obviously. Yeah. These were made by a lady. Um, her name was Pax. She was there and it was wonderful to chat with her because I did buy several of her products, um, things that she had made. She just loves to make them and she sells them there. And then this one. Gorge. And, you know, their little needle books and blah, blah, blah. So, that's what I got. Okay. All right. So, back to Sue. Just yes. For, yes. Uh, we'll be all over the place today, and that's just fine. Yes. Okay. So, I don't know how Sue's going to feel about being put on blast on floss tube. I don't think she's going to be that hepped up about it because she's, like, a little on the shy side. Yes. But when I first met her, she wasn't shy. But then, it, you know, whatever. Yeah. We kept think, running into her and her husband in the hall, yes, Sue and Steve, and we yes. had so much fun. Yes, and he was so wonderful and so supportive of her, and it was great that they came together. Yeah. And it was really, yeah. Really we don't want our husbands coming with us, though, because that would be a room. They would put the hammer down on a lot of stuff. Anyway, so Sue showed a lot of her stuff that she's mm -hmm. stitched. Now, this is obviously Brenda and Sue. This is um, by Cross Stitch Antiques, and it's um, I Had a Father Kind and True, and she's doing it over one on 32 count, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oops, oops, oops. So here's a close-up of it, over one on 32 count. Isn't that amazing? I hope that you took some pictures of um, when she had, like, her little trunk show. I took some, yes. Yes. Okay, well, while we're doing pictures, yes, let's get let's this part through. over with. Here's me and Tanya and her cute, cute, cute little pin pillow. Mm -hmm. Here's a close-up of her little area where she showed it, which was decorated so cutely. Mm -hmm. This is what we saw on Friday night of Vicky's um, paper pro project that went into that tray. Um, here's a little flavor of our table of people yakking and <laughs> yucking it up. <laughs> oh, he's, here's me and Sharon. That's a great picture. We too. have been friends for years. We met at Attic Summer School one year. I don't know what year it was, but it was a long time ago. Yeah. Here's our table all together, the rowdy crew. The naughty table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, here's me, Brenda, and Karen Combs. See, she's short. <laughs> she packs a lot of talent into that yes, little... Yes, she does. ...bod. Okay, and this is me and Valerie. Valerie. And Sweet she made lady. a little cute little tomato yes. thing. And she and her friend were fun to hang out with. And uh, let's see. This is something Sue made. This is by Blackbird. Strawberry Fields Forever. It's over one on 25 count. And I think I might want to try that. It was stunning. You can see the hand ratio mm -hmm. there. How small it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really beautiful. And this I thought was a very inspired choice of linen by mm -hmm. Sue. This is Esther. I think it's Esther um, by Carriage House Samplings by Kathy Barrick. Um, I have always loved this, but the w amount of white stitching has daunted me, but she put it on murky. Yeah. And it looks really fabulous. Good. Yeah. And here is Sue with Vicki and Tanya and Sue brought along some pieces for show and tell. And so she has stitched here the Seven Sheep Sampler by The Scarlet House and Sarah Stewart Hardeman by Needlework Press. Press. Yeah. She did the framing herself, which 
in and of itself is a feat, but she also mm -hmm. stitched them. And so here she is with the designers. That's such a great picture. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. And here is Sue's table. They were next to us and they were a bunch of fun ladies. Yes. And um, so I wanted Some to- Some of them live- um, Not far. Not far. Georgia's from Woodside. Well, she was yes. another table, but yeah. uh, Debbie lives in, mm -hmm. Debbie knows people we know. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the pictures that I took. It I was, didn't take enough. No, we never take enough because no, we're constantly just living in the moment. And then we take pictures on the last day and we're all yeah. wearing the same thing. And we're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was a lot of fun. It was. And we're going to show some some of our haul. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. want to show it now or do you want to talk sure. about what we've stitched? I don't what? care. Whatever you want to do. Let's fine. get the what we stitched out of the way. Okay. So this is my pathetic. So last time we met was at the end of August. So and then in September. Oh, it looks cute though. Yeah, I guess. Anyways, um, I worked on the same thing, mm -hmm. um, which is per normal. Yeah. Um, but I did have a finish. Oh, 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 oh. This is the other sister, Elizabeth Tyndale. Oh, that is so dark. This is with the flower threads. Yeah. And this is on um, 32 Lakeside Lentil. I love it. So I'll be sending that off tomorrow to be oh. framed. The other one is at the framers right now. It should be back in a month or so, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's and so pretty. Did, uh, tell us about your love of stitching with flower threads. I that. just love it. You know, when I finished this, I thought, okay, there was a couple things I wanted to do and I'll talk about them in a minute, but I just want that comfort of that 32 count and the flower thread was one strand and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to continue on and I am stitching Jane Parsons oh. now. And I got quite a bit done. Really? Yeah. And I, you know, that's the one I brought, the bought wool. the wool for. And I like the flower thread better. Mm -hmm. So, and mm -hmm. I do have a correction to make, um, to tell you about. Okay. I found it yesterday. You know, when I was rooting around gathering my things here uh, to bring, I found my Jane Parsons kitted up with the flower thread. So once I see yours, maybe that'll be what I work yes. on today. Oh my. Yes. It's just... Fabulous. And I, speaking of rooting around, I took all my, a lot of stuff I have that is kitted or I started or whatever are in boxes. And I decided no more because I can't see what's in there, blah, blah, blah. So I have gotten um, a couple of those, like one, I have the Ross Keg or Cog, Ross Cog, whatever. And then the other one I got at Amazon. And then I ordered another one Ooh. because it's easier for me to see what's there mm. and you wouldn't believe the stuff I found. Well, maybe you would, but there's a lot of things I have Ooh, that are that kitted and does that give me permission to buy another Rascog? You should. Yeah, you should. Or buy the, the, I will tell you the Rascog from Ikea is much, much better made. The old ones at least that we have than the new ones that you get on Amazon. There's okay. no question about it. Even my husband had to put them together, mm -hmm. and he said the one from Amazon is or from Ikea, Ikea is definitely better. Okay. But if you don't have access to it, yeah. I've got the other one. It's a black one from Amazon. Okay. So, anyways, and you have to put it together. Yeah, Rick had to put mine together, my Rascog. Remember that? Yes, <laughs> I remember. And this black one I bought on Amazon, and my husband was really busy this week. I hardly saw him. And I thought it came assembled. Wrong. <laughs> be a little hard to ship, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I looked to see it says assembly, false. Meaning, I thought it was whatever. Anyway, so here's Jane Parsons. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I so you started her this I week. I started her this week. And here is, it's by the Wishing Thorn, which Burgett has the most. Yes. has some good, really good stuff. And oh, her charts, they're thick. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, because she gives you color charts, black and white charts. There's some over one on Jane Parson, or she modified it, so you can do it over two, which is what I'm doing because I'm using the flower thread, and I'd have to get the DMC mm -hmm. to do the over one. You can't, in my opinion, you can't use the flower thread over, over one. one. Okay. So I am doing it all over two. On 32 what? 32 vintage lentil, because I had so much. You had so much, yeah. Oh. So here it is. Oh boy. I just love it. Oh the boy. colors are so, so this is, you know, it's not that big. I just love it. Can I see it when you're yeah. done? Yeah. Oh, by the way, my mom said, could you please hold things up like Brenda does? She holds them up long enough. <laughs> I'll try. Now, let me tell you what the correction is. There is a symbol. Well, if you have the chart, it's right down here. See where it says um, 705, right? Let me see. Let me put my finger on it. The third one up, 705 right here. That is not correct. It should be, she sent the right color. It's just not on there correctly. And it should be 730. Did you um, use it in here? Yes, yes. 730. And where did I use that? How did I know that? The S and the T. Are right here the symbols are right mm -hmm. um she sent the right thread it's just not on here right okay so 730 that replaces the 705 on this side here with this little weird thing it says 705 and that's not correct because 705 is a green is the green that's used here and so on and so forth so anyways i just love it the wishing thorn her charts are Fantastic. Plus she has good sample, unique samples. Yes, and yes. And I know Kathy Bourne is working on a model for her oh. that she has given just a little sneaky peek mm -hmm. and it's done with flower thread. Oh, is it? And mm -hmm. I'm very anxious get to get your hands on that. Get my hands on that. So anyways, I just wanted some, I don't want to say comfort stitching, but I'm just in the mood to stitch this and then all my threads are in this little bag that Justine made. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So, from Lori Holt's Prairie line. Yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of oh, which, you must, you must, you must, one more, you must, yes. watch Lori's latest floss tube. It is amazing what this woman gets done, how gorgeous it is. She is working on a heritage wall. She's, it's, what she's doing is just beautiful. There is inspiration. Every single piece she pulls out is just amazing. And she pulled out some old pieces that she had done on Sundays for her Sabbath stitch. Mm -hmm. And she showed those because she's almost done with Consider the Lilies. Wow. So then she'll start a new one. Wow. Um, it's just amazing. Please go watch her because you'll be, you know, you'll be inspired. inspiration. Yes. You'll be yes. hepped up. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. And she has her threads. She has a project and a project bag that's beautiful. And then she has her threads in a separate bag that's beautiful. And just the little attention to detail just makes you want to. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, she was showing her crocheted um, squares. And she's got eight new colors of her chunky thread. Oh, she? And she's give, doing a um, giveaway. She's going to, if. I don't remember the details, mm -hmm. but you will get um, 40 of her little flowers. And so you can, that's 40 of her colors that oh, she cool. has out. And if you win, you get all 40, all different colors. So anyways, go watch it. Yeah, it's great. I started, but I haven't been able to finish yet, but I will be yes. today. Yes, yes. So. Well, that's exciting. Anyways, yeah, yeah. So that's what I've been working on. How about you? Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, you've been on a roll with Yes. This. Well, here's my little, this sticker um, Liz gave us, Stitch Birdie. That's so cute. That is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've been working on the same thing for two weeks. That's why I'm feeling the need to 
Yeah. You Which need to keep going. Yeah, I know I need you to keep need going. To keep but going. you know how I am. I know. But keep okay. going on this. This is a new release by Fox and Rabbit. Two Red Houses sampler. We were lucky enough to see the model. And this came out at that last online market thing. And now they're home in Australia. And they'll be shipping these to the shops that ordered them. If you're on their Patreon, you got this already. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's but seeing the model oh, in yeah. person. This is like a perfect sampler. Look how cool it is with you know the Adam and Eve. Karen Lynch said they were looked like they were doing calisthenics. <laughs> <laughs> and then these two people up here, yeah. and it's just the whole thing is and you're going gangbusters. I, on it. I'm I am so happy for you. I am. I'm stitching it on the called for 40 count desert taipan by Fox and Rabbit. And let me just show you desert taipan. It's like mm -hmm. fabulously cool mm -hmm. and then just for my mom i'm gonna roll this up so i don't show all the linen she doesn't like all the linen showing just what i'm working on you go nancy <laughs> so here i am it's so beautiful yeah Laura. oh yeah you can't see i did adam over there oh, there he so is beautiful show it or push it up <laughs> Um, yeah, I love it. It's just, and it's so fun to stitch on this desert type hand. So, that's what I've been working on. But it's Sunday, and sometimes on Sunday after floss tube, I feel the need to, you know, explore. Pop about, pop okay. about yeah. And I have it in my berry tomato bag. Yes. Oof, that is a work of art right there. Yes. Stitch folk. Who has some more new uh, apparel that I need to shoom about yes Such the fun. latest one i have it's long sleeve i could have worn it today because it's cool out it says introverted on it oh. it's so introverted but willing to talk about cross stitch yes. i guess a sweatshirt yeah and it's almost sweatshirt weather yay yes okay so that's all that i've been working on. okay oh i have a consult and a few other okay things. so let me tell you what i was um i got at hobby house um and this is what I was going to stitch after I finished Elizabeth um, Tyndale. And let me find a picture. Hold on. Okay. Oh, please. Yeah. It's the one that Fox and Rabbit Karen designed oh. for me for my birthday. And I said, I saw the um, model, the model, which they're releasing to the releasing from market. It'll have some modifications because not everybody wants a Michigan flag, which I don't understand, but, but go a lot ahead. Of people do. So this is the one they're releasing that's that's mine, I should say. The other one doesn't have the grandfather clock, doesn't have the Michigan flag, so on and so forth. So anyway, so I thought I need to start this because I love it so much and after seeing the model. So when I got the Hobby House Wednesday, well, when we got there, I got all the threads for it. So this is what I was going to stitch, and I did buy fabric. So everyone that was keeping track of me, yes, I did buy flannel flower, which is what this is stitched on. That's reasonable. So anyways, but I just really loved that flower thread. I couldn't get it out of my head. So I thought, forget it. Just do what you want to do and what you're feeling. So I will stitch this. I have everything for it. It is very special to me along with Martha Evans by the Scarlet House. I will do those, but right now, no. So, cuckoo, right on time. You're in there. Yeah, <laughs> I am a little cuckoo. No, it's not. I, anyway. Okay, what else So I get? got, here's the flannel flower. I love flannel flower. Now, I couldn't get just the, like most people, normal people would get a fat quarter, because I think if it's not a fat quarter, no, I bought a yard. I know. Well, you'll be ha your future self will be happy you made that. Your, my future self will be happy. Then mm -hmm. I bought. What else did I buy there? Okay, I did buy. As you can see, I did not slap the linen out of her hand. No, but they had a special, a new um, color. I don't know if it's going to be released to everybody or if it's just for fire, um, Hobby House right now. But Inca, look at that. Karen showed this on her floss tube, and she compared it to others, but it's just beautiful. So I got that. It's very good. And then I saw this little 
This is by Grace Notes. Mm -hmm. This is that's Snickerdoodle. Gorgeous. Isn't that just a pretty Ooh, that's color? So I got that. Is that 40? Yeah, it's 40. That's beautiful. Yeah, it was in, I don't know. I just saw it sitting there all by its lonesome. Oh, so I rescued it. Yeah. Okay, you go. I'll okay. Um, when we were at Hobby House Woolworks yes. and Quilt Works, I saw this fabric from Tilda, and I was like, ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't it? That's very so, That would be nice inside the box. That would be, too. Mm -hmm. Gotta have choices. So I got that. I think I got, yeah, a lot. Okay, and then the only chart that I bought was Janet Spears 1813 by Needlework Press. I don't think I have this. If I do, then somebody will get my other one. But Yeah, I do. I know you do. I love that. Yeah. I've loved it for years. Why haven't I stitched it? Yeah. Sheesh. And then I got some linen specifically because I have decided that I'm restarting AKGIT. Okay. Let's just talk about this for a minute. By Modern Folk Embroidery. Yes, I know. I started it and I got... Uh, you know, a good start. Yeah, you did. But I cannot get out of my head Katie Strachan's where her fabric is whiter mm -hmm. and her thread is darker. So there's a very high contrast between the linen and the floss. And I can't stop thinking about it. And I pulled this out after summer school. I was going to work on it some more, but I don't know. I just, it was bugging me. Mm -hmm. So I said, that's it. I'm going to find a black thread and a lighter linen. So I auditioned Paperbark by Fox and Rabbit. Um, I auditioned Mayflower and White Clay. White Clay won. Um, I did a, th put the thread on it and Karen from Fox and Rabbit, since she's stitching AKGIT, weighed in on what she thought. Mm -hmm. And she liked the White Clay. But here you can see... Oh yeah, that's the a variation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one's paper bark. Mayflower has a little pink and white clay is just more white gray. Mm -hmm. And of course, even though I'm not using all of them for that project, I've got them in my stash yes. and they're gorgeous. Yes. I also got some 32 count flannel flower for flower thread stitching. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, we got a delivery. Yes, a special delivery from Rachel of Needle yes. and Flax uh, because we need more sleeping bear Yes. In our stash. It's a beautiful color. It's her new color. Yes. It's beautiful. So I got a fat half and she got a yard. That's tip. <laughs> that's tip. <laughs> that is so tip. Okay, so that's uh, that and I got a little bit of thread. Because I was doing a, like, which one should I do? This is one of the things that's missing from, that I don't know where it is. It's the one skein of NPI 998. That's that the I, one that I bought? That's the one you bought, and yeah. you gave it to me, mm -hmm. and now I don't know where it is. I was going to, I was auditioning these, and then the NPI 998 is more black. I ordered two hanks of that from my friend Olivia at Hillside Rookery, and I uh, messaged her last night and said, um, I need them stat. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Yeah. Because I, want I wanted to start that today, and I can't find the 998. Oof. Anywho, I got this. Did you get one of these? Yes, I did. Needle Minder yes, from Hobby House? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. That I, I also got um, 30, two 32 counts that I had pre-ordered. Oh. Um, one is Prairie Grass. These are both by Seraphim. Prairie Grass and Chai. You want me to open them? Sure. These are 32 you, counts. So um, for, per, for flower thread mm -hmm. purposes. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't open that. This is the chai. I love that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's got a little pinkish tone, but yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. And let me put them back in yeah, there. I'll get them screwed That's up. why I stopped because I almost ripped that bag. So. I like it that they put them in little bags and mm -hmm. they're labeled. Mm -hmm. 
anything that what when a shop labels them like the attic puts them in bags and labels mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. hobby house labels mm -hmm. them trying to stitch our, our, our big they put little, tag on there yeah tag on there yeah and this is the what did i say prairie grass right oh it's dark oh that's good yeah, mm -mm -mm. yeah. i like that mm -hmm. so I had pre-ordered those and picked them up there. So, okay. I did not get a lot there. I spent more at the Woolwork store um, than I did at the Needlework store. But not that you need to know that. But we'd like to know your ratio of spending. Yeah, too much. I did get this chart. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, that that the was Lisa a good Barney. buy. Yeah, I love that. Then I or I signed up for Fat Quarter. Is it Fat? Um, what's the name? Fat of Quarter it? Shop. Yeah, Fat Quarter Shop. And I got there. I signed up for the Classic Color Works Club and the Weeks Dye Works Club. Mm. So they here I am, C's. And then I decided that oh. you know how a lot of people have those boards. They show their stuff on it. So I got this in it, but it's smaller. I should have gotten the bigger one, but. Anyways, making sure your smalls yeah. on that. I yeah. love the around this fabric. It's yeah. the '30s. I think it's uh, it's a Lori Holt yeah. fabric. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Kindred Stitcher was using cookbook. a big one today on her floss too. Oh, okay. I just think they're cool. Oh, it's from Cookbook. Yeah, it's from the Cookbook. Oh, here's the info. Cool. Well, and they ship this out really they're fast. quick. They're super super fast. So kudos to them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did get another chart at oh, Hobby good. House. I got this one because Sylvia was there. And this little sampler here. Sweet. And what she did is she, um, maybe, maybe Hobby House did it. They no, just, I think she started the idea of giving just what you need to yeah. stitch it. So you don't have to buy skeins of the thread. So I think that's just a great idea. And I've seen some people finish it. So it's gorgeous. My little sampler. It's beautiful. And Sylvia, it was so great to see her. And Lisa, mm -hmm. um, Lady Huzzah was there. So that was fun. And then I picked up, this was the second part of Mary Alcorn. It's a spool. Now when you look at this, you think, oh, that's just a small spool. Oh no, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful wooden spool. Very nice. And you put your scissors in it. So I need to get going on this. I love that. Yeah, because the other one you stitched was. So yeah, the beautiful. other one is with Joy. Okay. So, so I picked that up because they had it ready. And it would have been a pain to have to ship these. I mean, they'll do it, obviously, but mm -hmm. if I'm there. Mm -hmm. So cool. I got that. One day on Friday before the retreat started, we decided we wanted to go to an antique mall. Yes. And so we told a bunch of people and said, meet us there. As we were driving there, I said to Brenda, because Karen and Brendan were going to go to the antique shop. I said, if they find an antique sampler in this place, I am going to insert swear word. Well, we walked in the door and they found a sampler that was so cute and so cool, along with a, an old quilt from the yes. 1800s. I yes. mean, they are, they are like magic fingers. They find stuff everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, so I swore and then we went about our business. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm glad you guys found it. Yes. It's wonderful. Um, but I was just like, I just want to find one someday out in yeah. the open. Out in the wild. Yeah. Anyway, what I did find at the last minute before we left was this darling. It's so you. I know. Just, Paper mache box yes. that's old and somebody painted on it and they did mm -hmm. such a fabulous job. And I just, so I'm, when I go to retreats, I'm just going to have this setting by my Yeah, side. I just think it's awesome. It is. And it was $9. Woo! What a key buy. So that was fun. I found there a red sampler. It's mm -hmm. not really old, but I liked it. It was a great price and I got it. And it's over here, so you can't see it. I'll pull it off the wall next time. And I got a little Scotty Dog brass 
Oh, um, that's cute. Vintage Scotty mm -hmm. dog. And I got some, oh, some little postcards from New York. Cool. So, the Rochester area. Mm -hmm. So vintage. Anyways. Yeah, that was fun to go there. Yeah, it was, it, it was the hugest antique mall I've ever seen. Yeah, it was the largest in New York. Yeah, it was huge. You couldn't even get through the whole thing. Mm -mm. The only downside is a lot of it was behind. Um, in those cases where you get to ask them to unlock, I hate that. Yeah. I mean, so, I understand why they have to do it because yeah. some people are idiots. But, yes. I mean, it's just frustrating. You know, because I would have said, oh, I want to see that, I want to see that. But I'm yes. not going to go find somebody five million right. times. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay, what else? Oh, I got this from Sylvia. Oh, that's cute. Huh. Well, not when you know that that's the Millennium Falcon, that's the Death Star, and that's one of those uh, Stormtroopers little thingamabob planes that I don't know the name of. Star Wars. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Sylvia. I love it. That's cute. <laughs> she funny. Okay. All right. No, no, I'm just pulling this out. I know. Um, I did order this. Um, from oh, the Nicola. apron! I got the apron. I will not be using it to cook. <laughs> but it's the apron and the tea towel. I don't know what I did with the tea towel, but this is the apron. It's so it's really cool. cool. It would be cool to wear to like a retreat just because it's cool. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. You know Anyways, what? I just I don't know if they it. still have it, but Hobby House had some of the yeah. uh, apron and tea towel. And I also got the pillows, and I ordered pillow forms from Amazon that are down. They were two Ooh, for twenty dollars, cheap, 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 cheap. And I have them downstairs, and I love them. Ooh. Those pillows are very well made from Hands Across the Sea. I don't know if they still have them, but. Um, they're just the pillow covers. You just unzip them. You smush in your pillow form. And in the pillow forms, like I said, we're on Amazon, two for 20. So it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool. So. Okay. Mishmash time. Yes. A mishmash of stuff. That's what I'm calling the next segment. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Good mishmash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rita Smick was there. She's a dear person. Yes. She's from she's... New Jersey. She and her husband's family had all these old postcards of different places a family member had went. And this one is Chicago um, in around 1911. That's so neat. And it still looks pretty big city-ish to me. Mm -hmm. And right here is the Art Institute. So, Which is still there. Yes. So I had that sitting by my table, too. Thanks, Rita. Okay. Um, you want to talk about all this stuff? Sure. People are so nice at retreats, giving out yes. gifts. And if um, you gave us something and we didn't thank you um, personally, if we were gone from the table, thank you, thank you, thank you. Georgia, who lives not too far from here, she used to go to Crystal Lake. Um, she gave us I'm just amazed. Oh, I know. Georgia. These little earrings that have a sampler motif on them. In the beautiful box. Yes. And this necklace with a sampler motif on it. I was gonna wear the earrings today but as you can see I didn't and then a I'll open this up a scissor fob or here I got it okay isn't that cool and that beautiful with the scissor on there and everything it's just oh I got a different one. Oh, did you good yeah see how oh, cool so thank you so much Georgia yeah and it was her birthday yeah yeah she was giving us cool presents and she wrote in the uh, in here I cannot call my day complete till needle thread and fabric meet. I love that. So that thank you very nice. much, Georgia. Our friend Liz gave us yes. these darling items. And this is when um, she was first learning to sew. Mm -hmm. And she filled it with lavender from her garden. And flaxseed. 
Oh, and flaxseed. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you can put it in the microwave or the freezer, and then if you have an ailment, it will help. What I've done with mine is I've got it downstairs next to my stitching chair, so I can smell that good. lavender. Yeah. Oh. Well, it came in handy for Tanya because she had cold hands when we were in the stitching room. And so Rachel and Liz went and put this in the microwave for her, and then she could warm her little hands. Oh, I think that was I a good idea. That. That's cool. Oh, this is hilarious. I bought the, brought this to show you because <laughs> Brenda had chewable airborns and they don't taste good. Yeah. But these are those the berry gummy ones? They're gummy ones. Yes. They taste like orange. Okay. So, yes. Because Product I placement. took mine this time. I yeah. took a lot of them. Yeah. And Laura didn't. And she was. I felt like I was getting a cold. Yes. So, I brought those to show you. Then we got um, Ooh, from there was Judith. Judith from New Zealand was there, and it was a. She was there in Seattle on business. Yeah, and then she went to the attic. What do I gotta tell you this? Story? Okay, okay, tell us this. So I I met Judith upstairs, and um, she's from New Zealand. And I said my favorite race car driver is from New Zealand, Scott Dixon. She heard of him. Thank you. And then she told me us uh, that she was in Seattle for business, and one of the day, one Saturday, she flew down for the day to Phoenix to go to the attic. And I say that's genius, and I love it. Yes. Then she was, um, she just called Hobby House and said, "Well, I'm going to be in that area, and is it okay if I'm shopping at the same time the retreat is?" And they said, "Well, we have a seat if you want to go to the retreat." And she's like, oh, yes, "Yeah." Please. So there she was from New Zealand, and awesome. um, it was amazing. So she I let Brenda and I pick bags. I picked this one. And I picked this one. Yes. And, and there's a, it's a certain kind of bird, and I'm looking for. Here, Brenda, you have oh. a kakapo. Kakapo. Okay, I'm looking there. for, hold on. Okay, I know I'm okay. Here. Kakapo. It's a needle minder. Isn't that so sweet? And guess what my bird is? It is a pee waka waka. <laughs> yes, a pee waka waka. A fan tailed pee waka waka, if you want to be, you know, completely right. And she had these stickers. And one of these is your bird, a kakapo. Uh, I'll have to give you that for your book of days. And she had this for me. It's a cereal starter on it. That's so cool. With the P waka waka. I picked the right bag. And um, this tin and this needle minder are made by, what does it say down there? Orderly Stitching. Yeah. And sh I'm going to guess she's in New Zealand. Another P waka waka. Yeah, that's like mine. Well, we need to go to Australia and New Zealand I know. someday. So that's all. Isn't that cool? Yes. And this is where I kept all my small little gifty things. Well, weren't you smart? Mm -hmm. oh. And you're going to remember these because I don't, but look at this. It's a little part of the ruler and it's Ooh, for cool. your threads. I don't remember. I'm sorry who oh, gave I don't know if I got one, us, but so. that's very cool. And then um, we got this beautiful strawberry. Oh yeah, I love that. And you can that strawberry yeah. is from Mary from okay. New Jersey because she's friends with Valerie. Okay. Yeah. They were and fun. then this is the um, Valerie made us yes. this. Isn't this beautiful? And it's she had it in this red bag. Yes. And it's a little. She even lined it. It's a paper mache bag that she painted and finished with this tomato on top. I love that. Here's our room key. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> but I can't find the NPI and something else that I desperately need. And then the this, these are little pins that were made by Lisa. Lady Huzzah. Oh, those are pretty. And then Kim. Kim H. made this. Oh, I yeah. love that red, white, and blue. Yeah. Love it. She must be from Texas. 
Yes, there's a Texas on there. And then a Georgia peach. That's cute. Made that. Karen, um, not Karen Combs, a different Karen, made this beautiful button cover, the needle minder. And then this is from Karen Combs, I believe. Yes, it is. It's a little, um, you know, if you have to rip your stitches and it leaves a little residue, this will, it's like a boo-boo stick. Love that. And then Debbie gave us this beautiful, um, I can't get it open now, crap. Anyways, it's a beautiful fall That's scissor. So pretty. Key. I love, I love that. Yes, her. beautiful. And then um, Sue, who made the box and did all that stuff, she gave us this to put in our box. I love that. <laughs> then she stitched one of these for each of us. A little hoop and then she had that setting in mm -hmm. her box which was so and cute. then she made some uh, floss, thread drops. Yeah. floss drops floss drops yeah with a sampler on here people are so generous and so creative thank you thank you thank you to everyone and then we got this most amazing they're all amazing. I don't mean it like that. But this is from oh, Kathy goodness. Tonelli, who, this is her card. She's from Canada. And she made, this is all fabric, linen covered. She stitched this. Look at that little. Oh my goodness. And it is a picture. Oh, I mean, oh my gosh. That's genius. That's so cool. Genius. Then, here is a fab, uh, needle minder stitch. This is linen. Needle minder. And then this is a scissor fob. I mean, just amazing. Look at that. That was so thank nice. You so of much, her. Kathy. So thank you so much, Kathy. So generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then this. Oh, pa our friend Pam gave oh, everyone yeah. at the table. She made these. They look like salt cellars, but they're not. They are for if you have your nails done, I guess. I yeah. never had my nails done. Manicure, like yes. It's to stick your finger in there. I'm gonna and, put that in my sue box. Yeah. And then she stuck a little pin in here. So cute. Thank really you. Pam. Cute. And then this is from Donna. And there's a story about it. And I don't remember it. Do you? No. It has to, she made this. She made this packet of cards that you can keep cross stitch project tracker and this bow. And she used the cute logo that they had. And this, I thought there was something about this, but anyways, it's this beautiful. I think these are covered cards. Old cards, I'm not sure. Mm. And there's the back. She personalized it. It was so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got these from somebody. Yes, I love them. Pumpkin floss drops. Uh, Valerie had these made, and I like went ape over them. Look at this floss drop. It has inspired me to look up images from this mm -hmm. old magazine, the Home Arts magazine. But there's also an old needlework magazine from the 20s and 30s, and I want to make some more floss drops eventually. I have to go get something. Oh, she's got to go get something. Okay. Uh, Fox and Rabbit gave us their logo pin. And let's see. Oh, at the Woolworks place, the Hobby House Woolworks place, they had these boxes, these tins, and I went ape over them. I know Brenda's got one too. Yes. You got this one? Yes. Yeah. And then I look at this them. little one with a whale on it. Is that not cool? To put needles in. I think I'm collecting these now. What? So we got, 
of the tins. Yeah, yeah, we got one as a gift um, last time. Anyway, yes. What did you have? To, oh, what's that? What? This. Oh, yes. I got this from a sweet friend. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to cry. That is so perfect and dear. On the back. Oh, you weren't around when I opened this? No. And then on the inside, there's oh. a little pair of scissors. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that amazing? That is adorable. We're, oh, I love that. Yep. And then you can close it with that. That is a true. This was finished by Kathy Tonelli as really? well. Really? Mm hmm. She's good. She didn't stitch it. Someone mm -hmm. else did, but yes. Wow. I love that. That is so. adorable. Thank you. You know who you are. Yeah. That's amazing. We got this cute little thing that was cuted up. It, oh, that's this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I'm getting flustered. It's okay. Then we got this from Sylvia. Is it, I didn't know who gave us that. Yes, Sylvia did. She did? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? I love I it. I love it. So this is from Sylvia. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sylvia. Yeah. Oh, that is adorable. Isn't that cool? With all these the tape measures. Darling. I love it. Okay, I'm glad to know who that's from. Susan, our table mate Susan, made these. She had a whole bowl full of them there, a and you got bowl. to choose. Yeah. So we chose. Yes. I love, love this. Yes, me too. Me too. Then I think that, that for me, I think that. Oh, I got one more thing. Sorry. I got this. Um, I saw this at Summer um, Bristol weekend. Uh huh. And um, I was gifted this this oh, time. That's so cool. And I think they're sold, I think, at various times under the garden moon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And it's made by her husband. And there's a magnet in the tray. See how that needle's sticking there? Oh, that's there's a cool. magnet in here. Wow. So, isn't that? And you take it, you can put all your stuff in here, have it sitting next to you. And it travels well. Yeah. It's and beautiful. I love the little sayings on it. Mm hmm. So, I love that. Thank you. Thank Chokes you. Totes fab. Then this week in today's mail, or this week, this week in today's mail, <laughs> um, from Ruthie, Crow's Feet Stitching, she sent a whole bunch of um, oh, cool. samplers. This one? You can get them on our Etsy it's shop. Just, these are new. Yes. Things. And then this one is taking little motifs out of the sample I just showed. Oh, how dear are those? And then this sampler, Elizabeth Moore. That's gorgeous. I love that. And then um, this is an original design, Ooh. Autumn Home. That's pretty. And then this is an original design Halloween drum. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. And then October Ruins. Oh, that's very good. Thank you so much, Ruthie, for that, sharing. That thank is you, so thank you, nice. Thank you. Crow's yes. Feet Stitching. Yes. And Excellent. she's on Instagram and that's Etsy. Oh, so. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Gathering, gathering. Yes. I did buy a couple more things at Hobby House oh. that I'm just going to show real quick. Okay. I bought these. I bought several of these. Oh, that was that the from Woolworks? the Woolworks store. Yeah. Oh, those are so they really go in my nice. giant um giant tomato. tomato. And then I bought that same thing Laura showed. And then I wanted one of these for putting little smalls in again. That's so, so pretty. And this one I was able to carry on the plane. So it all worked out. Mm -hmm. Then Sylvia designed um, something to fit. I think it was a patriotic 
um, running with needles and scissors with mm -hmm. Sylvia. Mm -hmm. And they were to fit in these little shaker boxes. But I got all three of them. I mean, They're so sweet. Aren't those? Look oh, at those. Oh, gosh. So if out. you're interested, call Hobby House, because I don't think they're on the website. And there's a set of three. Mm. And they're, they're impeccably all impeccably made. Very good. Yeah, I probably won't be able to get them down. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Cool. So, anyways. What's I that? did get that would oh. be interesting. I got they had these little packs of Swa Goblins. And That's I was cool. standing in line and someone had them and I thought, oh. That's cool. I'm going to go get those. So yeah. Do they have other color ranges? They did. the um, Red the, gone? Red was gone, and they had green. Okay. And um, Katie would have been right up her alley. Mm hmm Then I got these cottage garden threads. These are from Australia, and I got a variety of them. Cool. Lori, um, in one of her videos, or her latest video, she showed... A red sampler that was stitched with cottage garden yes and I can't remember the name now but she loves it um, and you can't find them everywhere but Hobby House had them so also rebelstitcher.com has them oh too. does she all mm -hmm. of them oh I don't know about all of them but she's got a lot of them oh okay. and she also has a club with them or something okay so. okay very good hold on let me clear all this out clear the decks clear the decks I don't, we have the winner of the fabric. Mm. Remember last time on our 100th mm -hmm. episode, mm -hmm. Fox and Rabbit, after we got to 20,000 subscribers, they said they would give a yard of any fabric, any count, to a winner. So I did the YouTube comment generator. Mm -hmm. I had to Google how to do it. Yes. <laughs> and watch a YouTube video. Because yeah. okay. they wanted the URL. And I didn't know how to get the URL, but okay. I figured it out. Oh, wow. And I screenshotted it, but I screenshotted it on my iPad, and it's not syncing to my phone yet. So let me see. Let me just double drum check. Drum roll, please. Yes. Yeah, drum roll is right. Let me just make sure. Oh, yes, it did. Oh. Let me oh, see. Nice. Here we go. So this is the winner, Ooh. Kathy Gerhardt. Kathy Gerhardt. And Ooh, woo. that's so exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'll put our email address below, um, send us an email, and we will forward it to Fox and Rabbit because they will send it directly to you from Australia. So Kathy Gerhardt, if you will let send us an email, then we will get you in touch with Fox and Rabbit. And if you don't claim it by the next video, I'll do it again. So got. I think in two weeks, are you still going to be here October 1st? Yes, I will. Okay. Because okay. Laura's got some retreats coming up in October. I wasn't sure. So Yes, I okay. do. Okay. But okay, I'm not so leaving until October 4th or 5th. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Um, one of my friends, Audrey, she showed on her Instagram that she was working on a certain project that I thought, oh, I'm going to get mine out, too. And it's a present for Esther Clark by the Scarlet House. Brenda has hers finished and on the wall. It's Stitch Stitch Bead. Yes, right. Stitch Stitch Bead is Audrey on mm -hmm. Instagram and Floss Tube. So I got mine out. I was stitching it on 40 count r, &R Vintage Beeswax. And I just looked at it and I was like, wait a minute. I'm like done. I was done. So I put it on Instagram, a picture thereof. And a lovely person commented, uh, yes, you're done, except for you're missing uh, the red berries on this tree. Oh. Which, thank goodness, she said that. Yes. So I'm going to throw the red berries in today so I oh, can good. get this frame. It's so beautiful, Isn't Laura. it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is just so cool. And I love that fabric you chose. Oh, I know what I hadn't done. It was all done except for the 1847 over one. Well, you powered through. I, I womaned up and I went through and did it. And I used Tudor silk. Oh, how'd you like it? I love for it this. for the over one. Okay. And you know what? I didn't bring it, but when I was at Hobby House, I bought a red and a black Tudor silk. For oh, okay. More over one excursions. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Very so, good. That was exciting. I love that bag that that's in, too. I know. You have always loved this. I know. This I know. when Mike and I were lucky enough to go to Paris 
I don't know how long ago it was, but we got to go to the Saju store, which is no longer there, and they have... Well, it, it, it's there. It's in Versailles now. It's oh. not in Paris, because I'm going there oh. when I go. Are you guys going to Versailles? We're going to. It's only like a half an hour from yeah, Paris. Train. Yeah, train. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, maybe they'll, then you can get some of this. Yes. Yeah, I had it made into a bag. I love that. Belinda. Belinda. Blue Ribbon Designs. Yeah. Oh, good. I hope you find some. Yes. I hope you do. Or maybe, you know, maybe have something different and yeah. even better. Wouldn't that be well, cool? I don't know. I like that a okay. lot. Okay. All right. So, well. Okay. We can make a deal later about something. I don't know. <laughs> I saw this completed on Melissa Sampler Nuts Instagram. And I immediately went rifling through my hands across the sea. And I really want to stitch this soon. And Ogden. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's beautiful. It'd be perfect with your girl wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to decide if I'm going to do the silks or DMC. But I think I'm just going to do DMC. Yeah. Yeah. Because I did, I did kit up a lot of things with silk lately. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's do some DMC. Yeah. And you can use your Tudor oh. silk for this. Yes. It'll be fine. Yeah. So there's Good. that. Oh, I did get from Dying to Stitch uh, a club that I'm in. I don't know if you've seen this. Yeah, it was at Hobby House. They had the um, oh, okay. original there. Yeah. They did? Mm -hmm. What do you mean original? Oh, I the mean, they model. had the model. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. I was model. just wondering if what this was based on or anything. I haven't read it yet. I've got to do that. Okay. But it, this is a kit. Yeah. Isn't it cool? It's part of their new kit where the... Blackbird was the first yes. one, and then this one, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting mail that I got. And now I have a consult. Okay. Covering all the bases. Yes, I like it. And this beautiful bag that my friend just... Our friend I just love that made. bag. I'm using it, too. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness, she is so talented. I know. Okay, I love this so much. Anne Rathmel by Hands Across the Sea. And when we were at the attic, I got the Soie Delger for it. And I started it. And I, let's see what I started it on. Oh, well, I hope I... Well, I'll figure out what I started it on in a minute. But the problem is that... Yeah, what's the problem? Okay. What's the problem, dear? What's the problem? My... The yellow does not show up on this. Now, that may be fine and dandy. But I want you to see that there is a lot of this yellow in the border, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I might need to do it on a lighter linen. Let's see, what's called for? I can't read that. Um, by 148. Okay. Are you using the silk, the 103s? No, the I'm using, J? yeah, there you go. That's it, right there. Oh, well, that's slick. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta mention these thread drops I put them on. Yeah. By Mimi Thiessen. Oh, those are cute. Oh, my gosh. They are the classiest, coolest. Those are cool. Oh, my God. I need more. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, this is, oh, it's 2543. It's, that must be. Okay, it's on 40 count salted caramel by number 12 Stitch Co., which I love. Yeah. But I just think that it needs. You know, you can't see it. And that drives me nuts. Well, this has got to be the salted caramel, right? That is salted caramel. And that's what it was done on. No, I don't know what, what it was oh, done on. Oh, I see. That's what I can't read really oh, here. Hold on. Muddy Duck. Mm. Muddy Duck is dark. Yeah. Muddy duck would be darker. Yeah. And it would show up then on a darker. But. Well, it stopped me in my tracks when I got to the yellow. Because mm -hmm. see in here and there. Mm -hmm. So what if I did it more like on a whitish? Well, you could go either lighter or darker. Whatever you have in your stash. Okay. That's what I would do then. That's what you would do? Yeah. Okay. If Or... You know, if you put something behind it here, mm -hmm. when, when you get it sprained, sprained, it's still going to fade out. Yeah. Yeah, I would do something either lighter, lighter or darker. Or darker. Okay. Me, I would go darker, but darker. if you want okay. the lighter, no, I can then. go darker. Yeah. 
I love that you did that. Yes, and I will tell you more about that in a minute. I know, but that's cool. It's so cool. Yes, that's really cool. Look at these thread drops. Yeah. Oh, I love these. Okay. All right, lighter or darker, you would yes, do darker. I would do darker. Excellent. Thank you very yes. much. Um, I have a couple more things that I want to show that I got in the last three weeks because it's been three weeks since okay. we last filmed. I got this cool thing. Oh, my. I'm going to have a hern. Well, you what? can order one, I think. Really? It's from Tammy Blaylock, really? Creative Country Girl. I ordered it, and it took a while because yeah. she was just taking orders. Who cares? Is that cool? That's and it's a project. Fabric. Oh, good Lord. It closes with, there's a big magnet in here. So when you open it up, hold on, I'll, I put my stuff that I got that week in there. It's this. So she has, you have a pocket here and a pocket here and then where the zips are. So, and that's the back. And I just think that's super cool. Well, it is. So you, Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock. Creative Country Girl. I think she, it's a website, not an Etsy. I'm yeah. confident it's a and website. And she's a one person show, so. Yes, which is why you ordered it in advance and I got it when I got it. Yeah. So, no Whoa. big deal. So, I got that. That's And good. then I got some. Oh. Oh, I say. got these from Hobby House. I ordered these. These are from Nicola. They're exclusive to Hobby House right now. They're square. Hands across the sea. I love them. Love. I love this sampler. Love, love, and I love, love that. Love some. Well, that's exciting. Then I got this. The wee Santa. Oh, from, look at him! Isn't he darling? He is from Cecilia. Heart yeah, and hand. I love Let that. Let me see that for yeah. a second. Thanks. Then I got Harvest Town. Oh, that's sweet. You know, I oh, like that is these. so sweet. You know, I have to look. I don't know how many colors there are. You could do it on. It, it depends on how I'm feeling, but you could do that on 32 with flower thread. Ooh. Depends on how many colors, if you could match them. That would be cool. But either way, with DMC, it's totally, or whatever she calls for here. I think she's, she's probably over dyed, dyed cotton. Yeah. Anyways, I love that. That's beautiful. Love that. Then I got this, um, because I love this, and this was released at a guild. Yeah, Orange Coast Sampler Guild. I love that. How did I miss that? Anyways, I got it now. Yeah, I got it. Then. I love that. Liz love Matthews. It. Yes. Did you see what Liz Matthews and yes. Elizabeth Ann can stitch were up to this week? They went to the attic, attic. for a girls' trip. Awesome. They had fun. Yes, they did. They. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was the first time there for both of them. Just amazing. Yeah, favorite place on earth. Yeah. Then I got this from Krista, just stitching along because I just love it. That would be a good flower thread one. Yeah. Somebody just finished this, and it's I just gorgeous. think it's beautiful. Those, the colors, I just love it. I just love it. So I got that. So that was in my project folder mm -hmm. from Tammy. Mm -hmm. Then I just I ha have. Oh, and then I got this. This is the best magazine, period. Oh, uh, look at that turkey. Yes. Who's that by? Um, uh, Co Crochetta a Go Go. go. Oh. Yeah. There's some great things in here. Really, really great things. This is a wonderful magazine. Mm -hmm. um, Fun. This is, look at that. I love that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Who's that by? Um, Homespun Prims by Lori. Oh, I love that. That's cool. So fun, fun. Oh, good grief! I'm flashing my address on there. Oh, brother. Well, I'm not cropping it out, so well, we don't know how. <laughs> I did do that one time because I had yeah. done that same stupid thing. Yeah. Um, I just want to talk about a couple things that I want to stitch on. Yeah. Can that we? sounds fun. Yes, we can. Now, and this I pulled out because I went through, um, I used to keep my stuff in boxes, things that were kitted and not by designer, just thrown in there that were kitted. 
and I've decided to pull them all out and put them in those Ross kegs. Did I talk about this on here? I did. I, yeah, that's fine. No, we can say it again. What an idiot. No, you're Anyway, not. so I oh. found this, and I'll tell you why it's... Um, oh. I love this so much. Did you I know? start that? Who knows? Know. Brenda, I just love all of Brenda's stuff. I just buy it all because mm -hmm. I love it. And I'll tell you what's held me up on this. Oh, my this. goodness. That's so cute. This is where I'm at. Oh. And the problem is this, folks. <laughs> there's a lot of, you can't see it on here, but there's a lot of, like, backstitching and, mm -hmm. you know, just stuff. Fiddly? I, yeah, fiddly stuff. So mm -hmm. I got stalled out on it. Mm -hmm. So I need to get over to, like, the sunflower the sunflower and the pumpkins and her dress and then go back. So I'd like to do that. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Yes. So I love that. Yeah. And it's using all the called for, um, anyways, dark bling. I need to get back to that. So it was good that I went through my crap. Then this is a project folder from Andrea in Australia. Hi Andrea. And I need to work. This is just a Brenda Gervais folder with all oh, her stuff in here. Fun. This, I've seen so many people have this framed. I love it so much. And here's mine, and I need to get back to this. It's so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. I, I especially like love these little, yeah, that really green color. Little Quakerists. Mm -hmm. so. So I need to get back to that. And yeah. there's other stuff in here by Brenda. The oh, look. There, I'll show you. Yeah, let's see. I love chart parades. This. Oh, say. This I have is that all kitted. kitted. Me too. Mary Ann Cop. And our friend Kelly is going good. great yes. hands on this one. Yes. That. Love. Then this, these threads mm -hmm. I've had forever. Oh, no, that's for something else. I have that Here. kitted up too. Those threads are for this. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Love it. This. Why haven't I done it? Why? It's a small because little we, sampler. We love it. Yes. I have it with all the threads. Hmm. Then my home sweet home. Now let me tell you about this. So I got this. Yeah. And I got it all kitted. Mm -hmm. And Katie Stracken did her little conversion mm -hmm. that's exclusive to the attic mm -hmm. so i've got that all kitted too well you can use so i can use something yes. else too yes and this is what i'm going to do something on this color fabric on one of those i don't know maybe the marianne cop i think that's what i pulled it out with so anyways this is my brenda bag you Ooh, know how much i love her it's brenda's it's, brenda bag yeah i love it I love this bag, period, or this mm -hmm. project folder. That's, yes. I just love, love, love it. So, that's that. And then I got, then I got, then I got. Don't you get tired of hearing that? No, not really. I ordered these from the attic. Um, they're by the Scissorist. And I saw them shortly after we left summer school. Jean posted them, and I was like, oh, yes, please. And the case is fab. And they are, I love it. You have to look close. They're Lady Liberty. Oh, cool. I see it now. I love them. I, they're nice scissors and they come, I don't know what happened. There's a, yeah, there's a little protector here oh, nice. to protect them. So I got these the other day. That was from fun. the attic. Yes, the attic has them. And I like the story. They're made in the U.S. And I just love just love them. Then I got another pair of scissors that I ordered and they're usually about a four month wait and they come from Sheffield, England mm -hmm. and they are custom made. They're by, and I learned about these from Karen Combs. They're Ernest mm -hmm. Wright scissors mm -hmm. and they come from Sheffield. They're certified. Oh, neato. Isn't that cool? And they come in this really cool box. Oh, those are beauteous. Aren't those beautiful? How do they feel? Very nice. Here, you can try them. They're very, very mm -hmm. nice scissors. 
and a good price point. Very nice. They take a while um, because they don't have them just sitting around. No, every no. pair of jewels is yes. what the box says. Yes. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that. I those. ordered those back in July. Okay. And just got them. Cool. Okay, I'm done with the I got. Oh, that's okay. terrible. It's that. fine. Okay, well, I got a story for you. Okay, good. good okay, good, good. One day I got the mail, and in it were three packages wrapped beautifully. And they're from Diane, who is the woodpecker's daughter on Instagram. And um, she lives around the attic, and she gets to go there a lot. Which is lucky, lucky, lucky. Fabulous. Yes. Well, she sent a project bag. She does not sell them. She just makes them on Because occasion. she enjoys them. Yeah. She sent one to me, to my mom, and to Brenda. Okay, look at this. Huh. You know I love, 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 love this fabric. Mm -hmm. It's by Michael Miller, I think. And now where did that thing go? Oh, yeah. So this is what she gave me at summer school. She lets all pick out one of these. Mm -hmm. She made one from everybody I know. at summer school. Plus my mother, she had my me pick one for my mom. So I keep the you know my silks like this in there. Perfect. Yes. So uh, you know I love this intensely. Well, here's a picture of me and my mom, and that's the one she made for my mom. And obviously you can mom. tell that we're so happy. Great. Yes. She loves it. That's Nancy. Yeah, I think that's the Nancy. first picture you've shown of her. Yeah. That's my mom, Nancy. So um, I brought Brenda's over today, and yes. she opened it, and look at hers, how perfect hers is for her. Yes, because I got the same thread keep with this Scotty Dog fabric. And I would have pulled mine out. But Diane has a good memory. Yes. yes. And it's got a little um, you can thing put, here yeah. where you can put what's in there. Yeah. I just think it's that is genius. so cool. Yes. Genius. And on the inside... This is the inside. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show and my And it inside. says, um, relish the past, harvest the present, preserve the future. And it's like printed fabric. And mine I has cool patterns, you know, like dress oh, making yes. patterns. Oh, that's love. cool. Love. And I think this is a Lori Holt up here. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's fabulous. Thank yes. you, Diane. That was yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What very, what very present. sweet. She is a sweet lady. She is very, very nice. Very, oh, and she makes cookies. When we were there in April, she brought some cookies to the shop. They were peanut butter cookies. I had 80, and it was great. They were so good. <laughs> yes, indeed. And then we got another package from another lady, Yvonne, in Atlanta, Georgia. And she sent us project bags, too, and they are perfect. Look at these kitties. Look at And your lighthouses. They're and they're very cool. Very, very cool. Thing yes. that Lori Holt's daughter yes. makes. Yeah, I love that. And inside was this box. And yes. inside the box were some amazing needle minders. Some that she made. Here they are. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is a fabric covered button. Look at this cat. Oh, that's cute. Ah! And then we have another one, a fabric covered button. Look at this Halloween one. Oh, I love that. And hold on. There's, then this one, I got a little a, uh, maple leaf. Yeah, I got a maple leaf too. And then I Brenda got... tried to fight me for this one, but I'm keeping it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> then this cute Halloween yes. one. Yes. I love that. Oh, this one for Christmas time, a gingerbread. Yeah, Man. I got that. Oh, I love him. Look at Look him. That. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Then I got this little cat. It looks like he's drinking milk from a little cup. Yeah. Cute. And then the last one I got is this cute bird. Uh, Robin. Oh, that's pretty. And look at my cupboard button ones, which is, this is a great idea to. Yes. Cover. Yeah. We need to get back to making some of those. Yes, it's so fun. But you know, the best time to do it is when you're around a table with friends. We need to yeah, make we'll, that happen. We'll make that happen, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much, Yvonne. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Love that. 
wonderful of present. Love. Yes. And, and then, then, oh, Brenda surprised me. She, this came in the mail, which I had no idea. Mm -mm. Oh, he's in stitches. In you Noblesville, know. Indiana sent us this. Just for mentioning their shop. And Laura, did you see this? I, well, it's funny because yesterday on Audrey's Stitch Stitch Beads Floss Tube, she had one of those for me. But Audrey, you can keep it because I got one. Always in stitches. They sent us And look at this. Thing. This can go in your little. I um, know. I love this. Yeah. Which I always need. In your little need. box. This. this. I love these floss straps. Yeah, those are gorgeous. I love them. I wonder if they have covered bridges down there. I think so. And this decal? Yeah. Well, if that isn't the truth, I never heard anything that was true. You need to put that on your car. Yeah. Can you? I wouldn't, but I okay. would put it on something else. Yeah. And they sent this beautiful chart from Cottage Garden. I this beautiful Ada. I love that. This is so cool. This would be a great Halloween design. Ooh, yeah. But so, but yes, yes too. Yep. And they're cool bag. Yes. And a pen. And sanitizer. Yeah. That's that so was so cool. nice. Thank and you so much. Again, I, I must bag. tell the story about when... Um, oh, wait. There's something else in here. Oh, some mints. Oh, good. I need some. That's a good thing to have. Um... Audrey's son, Morris, stitches oh, yeah. on linen now. And they went to a stitch day at Always in Stitches. And if you go to Always in Stitches 1 on Instagram, you can see a picture of him with his project on 32 count linen. I think that is so... Yeah. He's so darling. Yeah. And so cool. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. I think it's just great. I hope that the love of stitching stays with you, Morris. Mm -hmm. And maybe Rupert will join in. And if it doesn't, if it while. doesn't, that's fine. And maybe when you get to be an adult, mm -hmm. you'll look back and you'll pick it up again. Yeah. So I just think it's really cool. I mean, he's stitching yes. on 32 count linen. That's amazing. He's going to be one of the, like a Robert Harris mm -hmm. that stitches mm -hmm. amazingly. Or a Jacob from Modern yes. Book Warrior or a Brennan yes. Kirk. Or... Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the left-handed stitcher. Or TJ. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, TJ. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, did we talk about everything? I think we've talked about everything. Okay. Oh, we. Got, I want to show these. We got these, and I just think they are lovely. Um, this is from a uh, Mickey so Soupness. So that's her Instagram name, Mickey Soupness. Anyways, look at those. I. They're Love beautiful. Those. Yeah. And they're like, um, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're really, glossy. Yeah. They're cool. And they're really heavy. Yeah. They're well made. And I just love that picture there. That's love it. Cool. Love, love, love it. So anyhow. All right. Well, we'll be back in two weeks and we'll have been at home for two weeks. Oh, and... thank... no, I won't be. Oh, that's right. You, you're you going to Michigan next weekend. Yes, for a football game mm -hmm. with my brother and his family. So it'll be good. We're going to tailgate and it's a noon kick. So we're excited. Okay. We're very excited. It's very so, good. Yes. So anyways, it's good to be home for a while. Mm-hmm. Have a good couple weeks, and we didn't even talk about Sampler September, really. Oh, for cry I Yeah. Well, we'll be back October 1st, so maybe you'll have your um, two yeah. red houses done. Mm -hmm. So, that's a marching order. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, every month is Sampler Month to yes. us. Yes, so. that's true. Yes. That's true. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Have a good week. Yeah, you too.